All right, tubes. A little lawn tractor here just crapped out on me. It's funny because I just finished the lawn and I was bringing it back to the shed and I disengaged the, the blades and then there was a tiny little patch that I had to finish. And when I engaged the blades, it just bogged out and it wouldn't start after that. So I made sure it had a full tank of gas and uh, I'm going to try and start it. I've had this thing. I'll check the date when I open the hood or take the hood off. But uh, I'd say I had this tractor close to 35 years because I bought it new. So let me see. I'll, I'll show you what it sounds like. Lift the hood up. I don't think I ever changed the wheel in this thing. But anyway, this is what it sounds like. Don't want to start. Before, when I was trying to start it and it was still hot, it just kept pop, 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 popping. So I'm guessing. I don't know. I don't know for sure. Let me put the brake on here. There we go. I'm guessing I might have sheared a, a, a flywheel key. So let me take the hood off here and then uh, maybe bring it in the garage and put the air conditioner on because it's like 95 degrees out. All right. Let's see you after we take the hood off. All right. These hoods come off pretty easy. Just, uh, I already unscrewed the other side there. It's a real, real coarse screw. Take that out. And then you disconnect the headlights. And then this whole, this whole front end comes off. Pretty easy. Let's look at the code here. Looks like uh, it's from 1985. So uh, I don't know, 32 years or something. You guys uh, figure out the math. All right, I pulled the coop up for you, so we had a little room back here. We really got we got plenty of light. I mean, I'm right under a, an LED there, but uh, back here it may look a little dark for you guys. So I'll put the light on. But anyway, there, there is a bolt that's supposed to be right here. That's missing. I think that was that might have been stripped at one time. And then you got the two seven sixteenths here and a quarter inch here to disconnect the oil fill. And then one over here, one seven sixteen. So it uh, should come right off. All right. Don't forget to disconnect this. We don't we don't want nobody cutting your toes. All right. Before I take it apart, I forgot. I also checked the oil. Like I said, I never check this. I never fill it. Don't look good. Don't look good, fellas. I should take better care of this machine. I don't know if you're supposed to just check it up there or spin it down. I'm going to spin it down. Don't look good. Where you at? Here's the fill. It's supposed to fill between there and it's uh, way down. So we're a couple quarts low. I think it only holds a couple quarts. Okay. All right. Took all the bolts out. Took this little nut out of here. I don't want to take that out. Maybe just push it to the side. And it should come off. This is this is still a little warm. There we go. All right. Then I'm gonna have to take this uh, shroud off here. Yeah, because it actually wraps under under the flywheel. All right, I think that's a quarter inch. All right, I thought I was able to take it off with that starter cover. Still on, but uh, not the case. Right. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, see the wire here? I'll probably just barely see it. I got it wrapped up with tape and everything. Every year I would have to take this apart and fix that because the mice would chill with the pieces. But uh, then I mouse, finally mouse proofed the shed and uh, it's been okay for a while. Yeah, they used to build a nest in here and everything. When you start up, you'd, you'd hear them all get uh, chopped up and smell like uh, mouse piss and everything. All right, let me uh, get a screwdriver and get this uh, lid off.
she just still has a little hair around it, a little mouse hair. From way back in the day. I guess I got maybe a seven eighths, maybe a seven eighths socket. Alright, actually, it's, it's a fifteen sixteenth, not seven, seven eighths. Okay, here we go. Yeah, fine. I need a line over here. Actually, see the keyway, and it might not be it. All right, like I said, it looks like our uh, our keyway is okay. Our key on our keyway, so uh, I don't know if you can see that, but that black stuff around it is just dirt. Here's the keyway right here, the key, and that looks good. So, I'm wondering if I blew a head gasket, you know, just from shifting a, and engaging the blades. It sounds kind of odd, but this is where it's nice when you have two people, you know, one, I, I can't reach the key start and, uh, and feel around the head. So, the head's easy enough to take off, so I think I'm just going to take that off and examine the head gasket. Alright, let me catch us up on what I did here. I, uh... I actually had the old lady come out here and try and start it and I checked around the head to see if there were uh, any leaks and there weren't, you know, everything felt uh, tight up around there because that, that head gasket is fairly new, you know, a year or so. So that was okay. And then I decided before I start tearing everything down and everything, I'll see if Mike was in the area and he uh, was. So I let it sit overnight and then Mike came over today and we looked at it. And we were able to start it, you know, it was cold and everything, and it started, and the uh, same thing happened. As soon as we put it under a load, it sort of bogged out, you know, and uh, I had Mike scratching his head and me too and everything, so. Like I said, we had compression, and just when you put it under a load, it would, it would bog out, so we, we figured maybe, maybe it has something to do with the valves. So uh, what I'm going to do is... Uh, Instead of taking the head off right away, I'm going to take the valves out and, and I'm going to check the clearance. Let me turn the light on. The, to get the valves is a, a little cover right here. Look like they're pretty long. I can see the down here. I can actually see the, the valve uh, guide. But anyway, I'm going to have to take the carburetor off. I, I think I, I I should be able to leave the exhaust on and just uh, crimp the gas line. And we'll see. I'm going to check the clearances on it. Like I said, I've had this for 32 years and, and never did anything to it, so them valves might be uh, about ready for a, you know, a valve job, you know, to tighten them up or loosen them up or whatever, so. All right. That's where we're at. Matter of fact, it ran, and we put all the shrouds on and everything like that because it's still 95 degrees out, maybe 97 today, and I want to make sure it stayed cool, so. I'm going to take all this apart, and you guys ain't going to have to watch that. So, uh, I, I guess it's going to turn us into a series. I thought this was going to be a, an easy job, you know, like I say, the, I, I thought for sure it was uh, the keyway was sheared, but uh, now we got other problems. And also, when we're trying to start it, I'm going to get up on here and see if I can get up on here for you. When I'm trying to start it, it seems like the solenoid always going bad. You hear it? There. I got a fully charged battery, so so I just ordered a solenoid too. I mean, all the, all the cables are tight and everything. I figure for ten dollars, just change it. That's uh, that's got to be old. So that's where we're at. Yeah, I even checked the gas cap here. You can see it's actually uh, it's vented right here. But uh, this thing full of fuel. Plus, plus I had the cap off, so it's uh, it was getting fuel. No problem with the fuel. 
like I say, I had both me and Mike scratching our heads, so that's the only thing I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna check the valves. I'm I guess I'll start that in, in the next video, but uh, I guess for now I guess we'll call this a video. All right, all right, enough of this.